Hi, this is Dave Felberg with Team Infinite Disc, and I'm back again to teach you something new. That's called shot selection. Okay, so a lot of people walk up to holes and they think, what's my shot? What's the easiest shot? What's the high percentage shot? What should I be doing? I could throw them all maybe, or I could throw a couple of them, but which one should I be using in a tournament, and how do I think about that? So let's take a look at this hole. It's a 250 foot hole. As you can see the basket in the distance, there's a wide open fairway to the right, there's a wide open fairway to the left, and there's kind of a middle gap. And you have a little trouble here on the right. So when I think about shot selection, what I think about is looking at the hole and thinking, what is the highest percentage for me? So first I have to decide, what is the best shot I like to throw? So as a golfer, for me, that's a flat hyzer. So if I walked up to this hole, I would say, flat hyzer, and I'd walk to my bag, I'd take out a disc that I know is going to flat hyzer, let's say my Cenus, right? And I'll walk up and just give it a nice flat hyzer. Now obviously I missed right there, but it got lucky because the gap was so big. Let's try it one more time. Nice flat hyzer. There it is. There's the flat hyzer. See all the space over there? It allows me to be sure I'll have a putt. Now, that it was one option. And people could say, well, hey, flat hyzer's not my shot, Dave. So when you look at the hole, you look at all the other options. Maybe you're a sidearm thrower, and you can see that there is a huge sidearm gap. Right? So let me take that out. We can get a good laugh at my sidearm. We'll all enjoy that. So looking at that sidearm here. There's the gap. Will I get through it? No. And as you can see, I'm not that good at sidearm, but for you, that may be the shot. It is a big enough gap. Now, for some, they don't feel like they have the distance to throw a hyzer either direction, right? Some people feel like, I gotta throw it straight because I just need to get there because I can't reach it with the big sidearm and I can't reach it with the big hyzer. So they'll just tend to throw something that's straight, right? And get the ride and hopefully it'll work out. That'll give them a putt. So when you, those are what I would, my brain, the process my brain goes through is the shots. The next thing I do is I look at the trouble. When I look at this hole, there's not much trouble out of the hand. So I have some trees over here that if I got really nervous, I might grip lock on the flat hyzer and hit. There's some branches here that if I pulled it high, I could hit. So when you're looking at the backhand hyzer that I'm throwing, even though that's the easiest shot for me, there is a chance for a mistake. But the sidearm, there's nothing here, right? So probably if you're doing a shot selection choice, the best shot on this hole is a sidearm. Because I have no chance of getting in trouble until I'm 70% to the hole. So that's what you need to think about. The number one thing I think about with shot selection is the miss. People are continually thinking about how to make something, how to get closer to something, and they're not considering what happens when they don't execute that perfect shot. And that's the way I play the game. I play the game as I go out and I throw some shots on the hole and I look at it and I say, okay, I parked it, I parked it, great. Okay, this one is OB. This one is short. Okay, so if I play it too wide, I have a chance of going OB. So I'm not even going to throw a shot like that. If I throw it tighter, I have a chance of parking it, but I'm guaranteed to be safe over here, right? People need to realize when you're playing the game, Thinking about the miss is more important than the make because you're going to get birdies if you practice. But getting bogeys is what hurts your scorecard. Taking pars here and there is not that bad and will not hurt you. So remember, consider where your common miss will go. Look at that, and if the common miss for the shot you're selecting puts you in trouble or out of bounds, that's not the shot. Sometimes you might have to choose, for this example, if this was an OB over here, I would maybe have to choose to throw a sidearm even though it's very uncomfortable for me to throw a sidearm. Does that make sense? Because I know, hey, I've got a 50-50 shot of making that sidearm, but I'm guaranteed a par even if I miss it. And if there was an OB here, even though I have a 90% chance of throwing the, the hyzer, I know that there's a, still that 10% chance that if I nick a limb or I get a bad skip or something, I'm going to be out of bounds. And that's a 4P and a 2 versus a 2 so maybe I go 2-2-2-2, 4-P, two, 4-P, two, 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 four four 2-2, two, two, or I could go 2-2, two, 3-3, two, 2-2. Three, three, two, two. See, that was one stroke better. So that is what you have to look at, is think about the miss, make the right decision, 
So choosing shot selection has less to do with the hole, has to do more with your comfortability, the amount of danger, and remembering that starting with pars and getting birdies is more important than getting birdies and a random bogey. Until next time, this is Dave Felber with Team Infinite, and that is how you choose your shots on any hole in disc golf.